today's Crunker video, we're going to be talking about Crunker Season 6 Reloaded. And the reason I say Crunker Season 6 Reloaded is because we have a huge Crunker update. We're talking about update 6.0.8. To be completely transparent with you guys, I just recorded this entire video and both, both of the footage is just completely corrupted. I'm having the best time ever. I'm going to try to make this as entertaining as and, and authentic as possible. I'm sorry. Leave a like on the video and also subscribe. So first off, there's a Valentine's Day bundle that I cannot show you anymore because I already purchased it in the last recording. But you can now use creator codes on any bundles you'd like so if you guys like to use creator code sorable on bundles and or krb very very appreciated but let's just hop into the update so first thing it says battle pass will be extended soon now when i first saw this i immediately thought that they were going to extend the amount of tiers in the battle pass i don't think that is what they're doing it'd be very nice if they did i think they're going to extend the time on the battle pass only issue i have with that is i've been done with the battle pass for probably a month month and a half now and i understand i probably play more than the majority of people I also haven't really played in the past two weeks or much past that and i've just still been done i think a tier 100 battle pass would work really well for a game like crunker where people play the game a bunch and they're not really supposed to because it's not a game you're supposed to play all the time i don't know let me know what you guys think about that would you rather have more time on the battle pass or more time on the battle pass and more tiers i think that'd be the perfect way to do a reloaded season a crunker season six reloaded two three months into it give us 50 more tiers boom reloaded add some more updates perhaps because it seems like going from season to season just does not work so i don't really know how i feel about that depends on what they mean by that as i just said they added a valentine's day bundle and you can use creator code on bundles now by the way this was the crossbow from the bundle i actually got some crazy clips with it in the last recording but we know how that goes we know how that goes network stats setting is now available to everyone i don't know if is that just gonna show me my network stats on my screen oh okay that is that is really cool actually that's not a bad little feature bet they added a basic name filter to account registration so pretty much you can't make your name something super offensive or racist now i'm assuming and it also probably filters out curse words they also added an experimental mini map to the spectating hud and i don't know if you guys actually remember this but back when crunker esports was popping they actually implemented a mini map into that spectating made a whole video over that and it really never came to the game but now if you spectate you can see it by the way it's under interface and it is settings you must turn on so when you're spectating somebody now there is a mini map showing where they're going and where their enemies are i think this is super duper cool just in general to kind of see the map layout and see how people are moving around it and also i feel like this is going to be very very interesting to see how hackers are playing and who they're looking at and who they're going for this is a lot of information you can learn from this little mini map right here this is awesome they're now testing the ability to rehost games in the same session personally i don't know what that means if i had to guess this has something to do with them trying to make these servers better they allowed more fine tuning of the sound setting oh uh, yep they're a lot more setting that a lot more and then they also made changes to two maps they made some changes to atomic and they completely reworked habitat so let's go check that out right now i really wish my original recording just worked because it was it was a great recording everything worked how it should it was a great video and now i had to redo it so sad so on atomic i could be wrong but it seems like they virtually changed nothing from what i can tell they blocked this area off and you can no longer go into here and from what I could tell, this area is more filled out now with Thomas the Train, the little train guy. And as far as that goes, I, I really truly think that is all of the changes. I've played Atomic way more than I've played Habitat. It just seems like it's in rotation a lot more. And yeah, I don't know. I played this map a lot and it really just does not seem like they changed too much besides blocking that and making this a little bit more full over here. There might be a few like graphical changes and aesthetic changes that I just can't notice off the top of my head, but it really seems about like the same map. However, they completely changed changed habitat and i'm actually in love with this habitat rework it might be one of my favorite maps in all of crunker now and i think it's by far the prettiest and most realistic crunker map we have in the game so this spawn might look familiar to you guys if you come out this way you come out to this back spawn you come through here you have this way to the right which leads you to the right spawn if you're looking at it from this perspective i am you know this door you come out you're in mid this is where the tree would be in the big old fence this is mid you go down this way to get the back spawn you go this way to go back into the aquarium and then this is the very back spawn so honestly it is still habitat but honestly i love this version so so much more just this little aquarium area is just beautiful i love the colors you know the fishes could look a little bit more realistic but they're there and i really appreciate it walking out here i really just love this lighting before habitat was so gloomy and depressing but now it's full of life quite literally whoa and there's just so many details like there's ac units there's light fixtures there's dumpsters with curvature i don't know personally i absolutely love this rework i wish my last recording worked because I was very shocked with how much I loved this rework. I always liked Habitat. It just wasn't one of my favorite maps because of how it played and how it looked. 
but honestly i feel like this changes everything about this map and let me know what you guys think about the map reworks in the comments down below personally i am very happy with the habitat rework and i could be wrong about atomic it just does not seem like a lot has changed but at the same time it's probably because not a lot needed to be changed next let's talk about balancing and yep you guessed it reduce submachine gun ammo to 30 from 34 and on top of that reduce submachine gun fire rate to 90 from 95 so yes we have an smg nerf i'll be honest with y'all i used it and it feels about as powerful it feels just slightly weaker also as a side note they reduce the kimbo uzi ammo from 28 from 29 big different big different so they lowered the amount of ammo you have and they lowered the fire rate on the smg personally to me the smg feels almost unchanged especially when you're hitting a headshot however when you're hitting those body shots it really seems as if it does kill a lot slower now they didn't change the headshot multiplier or anything but as you guys saw right there it's just taking a what feels like a long time for the smg to kill or at least what seems like a long time for the smg to kill compared to what it was doing so the smg is still powerful still viable which i do appreciate because it is a good gun let me know what y'all think about this smg nerf and also kind of the akimbo uzi i guess if you want to count that in my personal opinion the smg does not feel that much different it most definitely still feels completely usable and i'm interested to see what y'all think about it here's the editor updates there's all the bug fixes and then last and finally they actually did update zombies they added a random chance for zombies to drop a perk so in the instance where you kill a zombie and get an insta kill or a max ammo in that same instance you have the same chance to get a perk whether it be juggernaut speed cola etc and then also this is absolutely massive they added weapon upgrading but how do you unlock it i have upgraded my weapon because techie showed me this early i do not know how to unlock it but i believe the information is there online if you'd like to do this upgrading your gun just gives you a cool camo on your gun i believe it's like the deep space die and it also increases your fire rate and your ammo which makes it a lot easier to survive in zombies so personally i'm very very happy with this update the map reworks are actually really really cool balances were super needed zombie updates are cool i really hope they bring back forbidden tomb soon and i'm unsure how i feel about the whole battle pass being extended if they extended it in terms of tiers i think it'd be cool but at the same time everybody who completed it at tier 50 and completed it would probably feel a little bit gypped if they had to go a whole another 50 tiers also there's probably people who are like tier 42 right now who are almost tier 50 and if they added another 50 50, it'd be kind of mean to do that i don't know i also feel like just extending the battle pass timer doesn't really do anything they somehow need to find like the perfect amount of time for everyone to get these battle passes done but at the exact same time have something ready for this time for when it's done so that we have to do like i would love for in five days two hours and 36 minutes for crunker season 7 to come out and for the crunker season 7 battle pass to come out at least from what they said and from what we can tell especially with these new crunker q a's it does not seem like crunker season 7 is coming out in five days when it will come out i don't know i like to think it's going to be relatively soon the thing is i don't even necessarily think we need a new season we just quite literally need more stuff to do and more content and that is something they have addressed in the crunker q a but i think that would most definitely make the seasons feel more full and yeah i'm just super sorry for the the random inactivity on the channel i'm being honest with you guys i have some weird life issues go on at the moment nothing too serious just stuff that i have to take seriously family stuff and yeah also uh i don't know why my computer no longer lets me edit videos so that's really uh been really hurtful i'm like literally watching a slideshow when i'm trying to edit my videos and every time i breathe it crashes it's really cool so just know i'm trying and I, things have just been weird but i love you guys so much and i really hope the videos are going to continue as normal but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and happy late valentine's day thank you guys so much for watching this video once again and as always it's been your boy cj or sorable i'll see you guys in the next one peace out